Hi everybody. Uh, we're going to take a look at Color Baseball for the Tandy Radio Shack Color Computer. Color Baseball was probably the game I played more than any other game on my Color Computer. It wasn't necessarily my favorite game, but it certainly was the one that I played the most, which I don't know if that even makes sense, but uh, that's, that's the case. Uh, although it was one of my favorites. And this was a just a fantastic uh, baseball game for the system. <clears throat> and before this, I only ever had um, uh, basically the Tiger. It wasn't even Tiger because uh, this was kind of I don't know if it was before Tiger, but I had like some electronic handheld baseball games. And this compared to those was just in a whole nother league, no pun intended. And it was just a, a really great baseball game. So uh, I'm going to uh, show this to you guys. There's a couple other videos with this uh, color baseball out there. Um, I'm going to uh, go through the manual and uh, I don't know if we'll play a whole game. Maybe we, maybe we will. Um, I actually thought it'd be funny to uh, uh, go back and, and put in some of the stats from uh, some of my 1980s uh, uh, Phillies players and stuff. Uh, <laughs> maybe I'll do an, another video with that. Um, so here we go, color baseball for the Tandy Radio Track color computer. So 1983. All right. The stands are filled to maximum capacity. The crowd sits anxiously awaiting the magic that is America's favorite pastime, baseball. Color baseball is an action-packed simulation of the sport made popular by uh, Abner uh, Doubleday at Cooperstown, New York in 1839. I actually did not know that. <laughs> you control the action and strategy. You can even give each player a name and a batting average to add more excitement to the game. Intricate color graphics enhance the realism from your press box view. You can recreate the most famous teams in baseball history and match them against one another in a computer-controlled World Series. I used to do this, and uh, an interesting thing is you could actually let the computer play. So I would actually put in uh, two of my favorite teams and I wouldn't even play sometimes. I would actually just let it play and I would watch it like I was watching a real baseball game. Um, that's how realistic this felt to me back then uh, because that was, it was super high tech, believe it or not. So batter up, play ball. All right, so I needed a color computer with 16K RAM memory I forget if the Color Computer 1 had, had uh, 16K versions or not. Um, I think that for the Color Computer 2, I think the, the smallest one was 16K. But for the Color Computer 1, I think they had the, the smallest one was 4K, I believe. All right, so you got to put in your program pack, uh, blah, blah, blah. Playing the game. After you insert the baseball program pack, turn on the computer. A team of players walks into the baseball diamond, shown on the screen. The demonstration game begins when the first batter takes his position at the home plate. The scoreboard at the top of the screen does not record the score during the game. Both teams are controlled by the computer, so observe the strategy. Then when you're ready to play, you'll have a game plan in mind. Before you start the game, position the line at the bottom corner uh, of the screen to one or two players by moving the right or left joystick. When you're ready to begin, press the red button on the joystick control box. The national anthem resounds through the stadium and the players take their positions on the field. There are nine players on each of the two teams, red and blue. The red team is controlled by the left joystick. Uh, the computer can control, uh, or if you choose one player, the blue team uh, is controlled on the right joystick. You can assign each player on uh, two teams a name and a batting average by pressing enter before pressing the red button on the joystick to begin. The red team is shown on the scoreboard as visitors. The blue team is the home team. Enter the names of the visiting team first. The batting averages uh, that you enter are used to apply handicap to the power of the swing. Uh, another thing I used to do was just give all my players like 500 or whatever the max was. And literally every hit was a home run with 
which was uh, pretty funny, uh, although uh, completely cheating. Um, anyway, when you enter the last batting average, the diamond and demonstration game reappears. The red button on the joystick uh, control box, or press the red button on the joystick control box to begin the game. You can have the computer play a game by itself using the players you entered by typing star. And that was a lot of fun. You control the batter swing when your team is up to bat. Uh, you can also make a base runner, steal a base, or slide into a base by maneuvering the joystick. I remember being able to steal bases uh, as a kid. I tried uh, playing the game now, and I, I don't seem to be able to steal uh, bases, so I'm not sure uh, how I used to do that. If you're on the field, you control the pitcher and all the other players on the team, the blue team. Uh, you, if you choose to play the computer... Oh, the blue team, you if you choose to play the computer, is always on the field first. Uh, when, the, when in doubt about which player you control, press the button on the joystick and the player will flash. So there's where you can enter in the, your players. There's the controls. Pitching. When the pitcher has the ball and the batter walks up to the plate, all of the fielders move to the ready position. The batter is now ready to pitch. If your team is pitching, place the joystick in the desired position, then press and release the button. The diagram above shows how to position the joystick to achieve max maximum effectiveness when pitching. Fielding. After the batter hits the ball, the computer determines which player is close enough to receive the ball. When you press the button, uh, the chosen player uh, is highlighted by flashing. You can control this player using the joystick as shown. The shadow of the ball is shown on the ground if it's a fly ball, and you can move under the player under the ball to catch it uh, for an out. You won't see a shadow if the ball is a grounder. Maneuver the player to uh, close to catch the ball. And then this is how you throw. Down is to home left to third, uh, right to the first, and up is to second, and center your joystick, throw it to the pitcher. Um, what else? Oh, yep, there's a couple controls for batting. So you can do uh, a little bit forward for controlled swing, way forward for a bunt, uh, line drive, a little bit down, and just you know, Hail Mary, going for a home run all the way down. So I usually, um, playing the computer, I usually would play down all the way. Uh, when I would play against my friends, I would, I would do bunts a lot because they'd have to race for the ball, and uh, it, used to, it used to annoy them. Um, and then here's how you steal, you know, steal bases and stuff. Which, um, man, I used to be able to get by the computer players still bases, but I remember again with my friends, uh, stealing bases was easier because they would pitch and then miss the ball, and you could really, uh, you know, uh, get by them. This was kind of unfair because uh, a lot of my friends had uh, NES uh, before I got an NES, so I had just the color computer. And uh, what did they have on the NES? What was the really um, uh, first popular one? I don't think it was uh, uh, Bases Loaded. Man, I can't think of the, the, the game. But uh, they were kind of in insulted by the primitive, this primitive baseball game on my Coco but, uh, and the fact that I kicked their butts with it. Uh, anyway, uh, scoring. I think uh, everyone knows how uh, baseball scored, so don't worry about that. Uh, now that you know the rules, uh, take your team through spring training session. Learn to maneuver the players to perform tricks, uh, trick plays like hit and run, uh, opposite field hitting, squeeze play, double play, bunt, steal bases, uh, and pitch outs. When you think you're ready for the big league, put your jersey in cleats and get yourself a wad of bubble gum and play ball. Okay. So let's play a game of Color baseball. Okay, here we 
go. Ball. Oh. Nice. All right, I should have been able to get him. Oh, double out. Nice. I was trying to switch players to the uh, my outfielder, which it didn't switch. That's okay. You get him out. bat I probably should have put in um, some teams it's a lot more fun when you have like the players names and stuff for the different teams and I got to pay attention here to bat oh no second base so watch if I try to steal they're just like so fast and then I can try to run in between them and fake them out but it just it just doesn't work uh oh two strikes Oh, why'd I swing? Ah. bases on that one. Let's see if I can get somebody home. <laughs> I don't know why I swung at that. That's a crazy throw. Okay, count my bless. 
things. I love the uh, digitized clapping effects. It's pretty funny. Boom. Computer is really easy in this game. It's easy in this game. Got the double, double play there. Okay, we'll get another shot. Try to double play me. I don't know why I swung at that one. Oh.
computer player. <laughs> can't handle my fielding. I suck at the uh, curveballs. I always swing for it. Yeah, somehow I managed when I was younger to get get by uh, get by them when they were doing that. Oops.
Yes, I do swing for pretty much everything. Sorry, my chair is so squeaky. I need, a new, I need a new chair. Listen to this thing. Oh, you can switch uh, batters too, or switch uh, left and right batters.
home run now. Base is loaded. Um, should I let him get me out just to move this game along? Should I ridiculously decimate him? is loaded. I'm gonna keep uh, I'm gonna do a couple more hits here. One way you can make the computer more competitive is you can actually handicap yourself uh, by programming the stats and giving the computer much higher stats than you. It can even it out a little bit. last chance to score a point.
end. I couldn't remember um, if there was some sort of end song or anything, but I guess not. Just instant reset. Wow, that's really anticlimactic. Well, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this look at color baseball. Uh, I think it's an interesting look back at a early um, video baseball game simulator. Uh, and certainly if you had this one, I'm sure a really good uh, you know, nostalgia trip. Hope you enjoy the video.